Hiya, so today I'm going to talk to you a bit about a game we've been sent to review. This is Escape Room the Game by Goliath Games and it's three different escape rooms in a box so you can play at home. We've been sent this for James to have a go at Games Night. It's going to take it in tomorrow and give it a go. It's going to be about five of them trying to solve it. So I'm going to have a quick run through with you of what's in the box and then at the end I'll pop in some pictures and videos of James having a play with it as well and what he thought. So inside the box you get the Chrono Decoder. Now this takes three AA batteries and turns on to show a timer. It counts down from 60 minutes and you can start it countdown and it starts making atmospheric noises as well which is quite funky. And then in the top of here there are four slits for these special keys that come with the game. Now there are 16 different keys like this. They look all a little bit different. I think there's a couple of duplicates but other than that they're all different. They're covered in letters and numbers and shapes and things. And they go in the slots in the right order when you think you've figured out a code. And the decoder will tell you whether you've got it right or not. And for each game, you have to put several codes in. And then on the side of the chrono decoder as well, there are keys to ciphers. So you have alpha, bet ciphers, and you've got Morse code and a few other types of ciphers on that side as well. And then there's also a few clues on the front and the top of the decoder it says so mysterious so yeah that's the chrono decoder and it's sort of the core thing in this game and then inside you also have the games rules which is packed full of information you have to give it a really good read before you play so there's loads of different info about um, how to set up and how to play it and there's an app you can download to provide atmospheric music as well which is quite funky and it just explains everything about the game and all the rules to play and you'll be glad to know that you're allowed to use your calculator and your flashlights and stuff on your phone obviously you can't google the answers and then so you get the chrono decoder the 16 keys and then you get these three bags with an adventure in each basically. You get three adventures, the first one is Prison Break and then Virus I think is the next one and then Nuclear Countdown and they get harder so each game's harder than the last. So in each one you get several envelopes and these are like numbered part one, part two, this is a smaller part two one and also part three and you also get a set you get a set of hint cards with each um, game and those you use with the hint decoder and they have the times on the back so hint card one you're allowed to look at at five minutes in with 55 minutes to go uh, so you slide it in and it reveals the hidden clue text underneath so you get eight hint cards for each one, which take you all the way down to five minutes. So the chrono decoder will actually make a noise when it's time for you to be able to open or look at a hint card, just in case you haven't progressed in the game enough, it helps you along a bit. So you get one hint decoder, so you have to use this one for all three games. Each game starts with a story on the back of envelope one, and you read the story, and then open the envelope, check everything's in there. There's a little thing listing everything that's in your envelope. And then you follow the instructions um, in the letter and try and figure out the puzzles and the clues, basically. So you get different things that you pop out. I won't show you the whole thing because that will ruin it. But you basically get clues that you just pop out this bit of paper or you have cards in some of them and maps and all sorts so you pop out the clues and try and figure out the codes to put in the decoder and then as you 
find each code, you get to open the next envelope. So once you've figured out the code for part one, you get to open the part two envelopes. And they say, do not open before you've entered the first correct code in the chrono decoder. Then once you successfully put in the second code, you can open part three, and then you figure out the third code, and hopefully you win the game and escape the room within your 60 minutes. So that's the basic concept. So you've got prison break, and then you have the same sort of thing for virus, several envelopes. And then again, for nuclear countdown, this one has a, a fancy suitcase box. But also one nice thing about this game is that although obviously once you've done an escape room, you know the answers and you know how to work it out and you can't play it again, these ones, anything that you are encouraged to write on or fold, you can re-download from their website and print out at home so that you can pass it on to a friend to play or you can play again with a different group of friends, can play it, this sort of thing, which is nice because otherwise it feels quite wasteful to use once and throw away. But this one, you can, you know, let your mates play it as well. And also you get three different mysteries in the same box and there's a possibility of getting expansion packs in the future that also use the Chrono Decoder and that sort of thing. So it feels less wasteful than some of the games where it literally is used once and you've destroyed the game. But this one, anything that you fold or write on, you can re-download. So it feels much less wasteful in that way. So that's everything you get in the box. You get the Chrono Decoder, the Hint Decoder, the 16 keys, all the different hint cards, and the three different adventures. Prison Break, Virus, and Nuclear Countdown, and also the comprehensive instructions. Escape Room the Game by Glide Games is aimed at 16 plus. They recommend you play it in groups of three to five people and takes anywhere up to 60 minutes, hopefully not more than that, to complete each game. And it's currently about £30 on Amazon and it actually won our adult toys category at the Blog On Toy Awards this year, which is quite cool. James is looking forward to playing this. I will pop some clips and pictures of them playing now. Other way, not like a parallel gram. Left leading parallel gram. Three is three, which is the square. Any particular? What a guess, guys! Well done. We're free. Are we there? Hiya. So the other day, three of me and three others from work uh, played the prison gate, prison break part of the escape room game. Um, it was really fun. We um, completed it just in time. We had three minutes to spare and we did use the last clue, um, which gave quite a lot of information at the end. Um, uh, the first half of the game we got through re really well and we didn't um, need to use all the clues, but when we progress onto the uh, last part of the game, we were a little bit a little bit uh, stuck and it took us a while um, and we found that occasionally there's perhaps not quite enough information to tell us what to do with all the random bits of paper that we had to uh, work with but we worked out in the end it was great fun as I say there's four, four, four of us playing um, one thought was that perhaps there was not always um, enough for four people to do at one time because there were only one or two puzzles going on but then other times there were so i don't think that's a massive issue overall i think it's great um and we're really looking forward to playing the um the other three games um in the future so yeah good <laughs>